Hello, I would like to make a small introduction to what I call the spherical palm interaction device, which can be used as an analog of computer mouse, game controller, or as an interaction device to manipulate virtual content in augmented reality field. There are a few different prototypes, so let's begin with the first one. In the first prototype, all the electronic components were inserted in a small transparent spherical palm case. It has magnetic angular rate and gravity sensor that allows us to detect orientation in X, Y, and Z directions. The device is based on Arduino microcontroller and it also has a wireless Bluetooth connection, a turn on button, and two cells to power it up everything. The accelerometer sensor itself detects tap, double tap, and free fall, which basically allows us to avoid using push buttons at all. The second version uh, basically consists of the same components. Uh, the only thing that was changed, a 3D sphere model was printed using 3D printer, a RGB LED was added on the left side of the sphere and a photoresistor to the right side. Basically, it allows us to uh, see which on one of the accelerometer capabilities we use. If we tap it once, green LED goes on. If we tap it twice, red LED goes on and it detects free fall. Blue LED goes on and the photoresistor itself over here just increases the intensity of the LED. In the third prototype, uh, RGB LED and a photoresistor was excluded. Sorry, this one. And uh, Two push buttons were added uh, for an easier use, even though it has the same tap capabilities. Um, for most users, the tap capabilities would be hard to use for standard situations, for instance, if we uh, use it as a computer mouse. Uh, for instance, tapping like this, it wouldn't be so convenient. In the fourth prototype version, it has everything uh, the same except uh, the uh, photoresistor was added with a purpose to change functionality modes over here. What modes? Well, imagine if you're playing some game by uh, rotating the sphere, uh, you could look around with a character. And by covering the photoresistor, you can change the mode so it could move around. I mean, forward, backward, left or right. But it had a huge drawback. What if users play at night? One mode would be always turned on and that's all. Why? Because uh, photoresistors measurements depends on the light conditions in the environment. And if it's always dark, it's always, uh, always one mode is just switched and that's it. Of course, other sensors might be used for a similar purpose, but I decided to add a joystick that you can see in the next version of the prototype. By the way, this uh, prototype and later one versions has a U micro USB connection because uh, lots of code reuploading takes place and uh, as I always try to improve the functionality of this device. Previously, I, it was a smaller joystick over here. Uh, but the smaller joystick was not so convenient to use to control, for instance, position of a character or model or make some other things. So I thought maybe a bigger joystick would help. And I can tell you one thing for sure, at least for this size of a sphere, it's way better. I also have another modified version over here on the right side of the sphere. A gesture sensor was added that uh, detects motions from left to right, right to left, top to bottom, and bottom to top. It is possible to map these functions, well, depending on the application field. So that's it for now, and bye.